Good morning. Bo and I are here to talk to you about surviving Essen. Yeah? Okay, he's gonna go home. Now, let's talk about surviving Essen. Uh, these tips, uh, as with everything with accessibility, are great for everyone. Uh, well, most of them. The whole idea around accessible design is that when you make things that are more accessible for people who are disabled, then you are also making them better experiences for everyone else. That is leads into what the actual first idea is, is that pre-order. There is an entire list of BGG uh, companies, uh, on, on BGG of companies that, at Essen that have pre-orders available. So save yourself some time waiting in all those lines and see if you can get a pre-order. I wanna to talk to you about getting there. So first and foremost, this is my sunflower lanyard. For anyone that doesn't know, this is the official hidden disabilities sign. Uh, and so you wear this lanyard when you're going through the airport, I'm hitting my mic, and this just signifies that you might need a little bit more extra time or some help. Sometimes people with hidden disabilities can become nonverbal uh, or very shy and don't speak up a lot. And so this is a kind of signal to say, ask me if I need help. Um, instead of me having to ask someone else for help. It kind of like eliminates a little bit of a barrier and everything about accessibility is trying to eliminate barriers. And the people who run hidden disabilities can also, you can also make and print and customize your own card uh, so that you can put on here. So I would recommend that you grab one of those. A general tip, plan. <laughs> the more planning you can do, the better. I'm autistic, planning is totally my jam. Um, but the one thing I have planned for is I have already packed my luggage full of my games to see how many games I can fit in there. And so I have already planned out a board game geek, geek list of all the things I plan on going to go buy and where I want to do them. Next tip. It is incredibly crowded first thing in the morning. If crowds are going to dysregulate you, go an hour later. You're not going to miss much in the first hour. Um, it, you might miss out on limited release copies of something, but honestly, unless you're there at 6 a.m. in the morning to be the first person in line, you're probably also going to miss out on anybody who only brought 50 copies of a game. So once again, pre-order if you can, and you don't get some FOMO out of that. And by going a little bit later, the trains are less crowded, the platform is less crowded. I, I have a clip from the last time we went and it shows so many people that you could hardly get off of the train platform because the Mesa lobby area was all the way there. But somehow I actually managed to get almost all the way up to the door and inside and inside the doors uh, when I first did that. Next tip here, uh, also with crowds and stuff, take breaks. Once again, this is a great tip for everyone, not people who are just disabled. Take breaks, remember to take breaks. Eat, drink, and go for a walk. There are a lot of places to eat, they are all listed in the Spiel app, app as well. Uh, but I would recommend actually leaving the Mesa, going across the street, and there is a ton of restaurants uh, inside the little kind of co commercial district that exists beside the Mesa. And so that's a good chance to get out, get some fresh air, go for a walk, and then go get some food. Now, if you're not hungry, also beside the Mesa, but on the other side, is uh, the Gruga Park. And this is a massive park. It's got a, a bunch of different zoos inside of it and hiking trails. And uh, it's the beginning of October. The leaves may or may not have changed yet. Uh, when I went to Essen the last time, it was the end of October, so the leaves had changed. And it is just such a beautiful, calming walk. And it just is a good time to help bring yourself back down to go back inside and deal with all the noise and all the crowds. Let's talk about noise now. Bring earplugs. Uh, now, those standard foam earplugs, not so great. You can't hear people. These are the Loop Experience Plus. I love them. I have also tried the Flare. They work, but not as great as these. These ones are very discreet. They come with an additional noise canceling piece in there that I'm actually gonna put back in here because honestly, I rarely use it without them. So I'm just gonna install that again. And then these just sit very discreetly inside your ear. And they help block out a lot of that murmur sound that's going along in the background. Highly recommend these or noise canceling headphones. You're gonna want active noise canceling headphones. I would recommend just so that you don't, I mean, for me, I'm a little bit cautious of how I look all the time because anxiety. 
I don't like the big can noise canceling headphones, but those are by far the ones that are going to eliminate the most amount of noise. If noise is going to be a huge issue for you, grab those, but you're also not going to be able to hear anybody. And so when you take them off, you're going to have all of that extra noise when you're trying to hear someone explain a game to you. So that's why I really like recommend the loops. Now there's also a cool feature. If you have Apple AirPods or, um, a particular set of headphones that works with this feature, you're going to have to test it on your phone. In the control center on the iPhone, you can turn on what's called active listening, and it will take the input from your mic and output it through your headphones. So what you can do is hold your phone a little bit closer to someone who's talking and you're going to have uh, the hearing going in here. So if you're hard of hearing or if the noise is going to be a problem, you've got noise canceling headphones in, you can get the noise canceling plus be able to hear someone out there. My headphones don't support this. I'm trying to find a pair that do that aren't the Apple AirPods because I also love listening to music and the sound of the Apple AirPod Pros is garbage. <laughs> so I want to find new ones. I'd also want, I also want to try and use this mic with the live listen so that it uses this mic to pick up people's voices so that I can have them wear this while they're explaining the game. And I don't have to be like in your face with my phone <laughs> to be like, hey, uh, I can't really hear you very well because crowds are a really, background noise is a really bad problem for me. Um, so that makes it difficult. If you are from North America and you're not used to traveling in Europe, I highly recommend you get yourself a saddle bag or a passport bag. Pickpocketing pick is a huge problem. As much as the board community, board game community is a great community, there are thieves about at, at Essen. They do go to these big crowded events on purpose to grab people. There have been numerous incidents where people, uh, vendors have lost their cash box. If you're a vendor watching this, do not have a cash box. Keep the cash on a person at all times. Take it off site as often as you can when it gets becoming to carrying too much cash. Cash boxes and cash tillers that even lock get picked up and walked away with. Do not think that this big, huge thing is not going to get picked up and walked away. There is a ton of people there. So make sure you have a bag. Make sure it's got zippers. Zipper, 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 zippers. Now let's talk about when everything is over. You, uh, there's always opportunities to go gaming in most of the hotels that are nearby the Mesa. You could probably just walk over, look in the lobby and see if there's a group playing, if there's an empty chair and don't be afraid to be like, Hey, uh, that's a cool looking game. How do you like it? Um, you don't have to ask to play, but open up a conversation about the game and then they might invite you to play. That's what I find is a little bit easier. Um, even though it's already difficult in the first place to open that conversation for me, cause I also have a lot of social anxiety. Don't be afraid to go tour the city. There is the light festival going on uh, at the same time. It's beautiful right in the downtown area, uh, as well as the downtown area near the uh, train station is also really pretty. The trains in itself run like 24 hours. I think the U-Bahn might cl close late, so do keep an eye on your train schedules. Uh, the local regional transit app is called VRR. Um, I use the uh, Rheinbahn app, which is like the Rhine River. Uh, and I have a Deutschland card uh, on there. If you buy the Deutschland card, make sure that uh, on October 1st, once they've charged your card, you also cancel the subscription <laughs> because it's going to recharge your card next month if you don't cancel the subscription by the 10th. Remember that. Uh, but that's the easiest way to get around Germany because Dusseldorf is only 20 minutes away. Cologne is only another uh, 10 to 15 minutes from Dusseldorf. So I think from Essen, that's a 35 minute uh, ride. Uh, and they are beautiful cities. Don't don't be afraid to get out of Essen uh, and check things out. And don't be afraid to go check things out in Essen. Those are the tips I have for you. Let me know what tips you have for traveling abroad to Essen. And hopefully we will see you there. Let me know if you're going to be there, okay? Like, subscribe, follow along. We will see you in Germany. Bye!